be a jerk. Sorry, little eye guy. Alright, we're once again at full health. Three onks does seem a little bit low. I'm sure there's going to be some way that we can actually upgrade our maximum health here. Alright, now this looks like the uh, kind of temple area he was talking about. Yeah, I think that the portal amulet is up on that ledge right there. So we just got to figure out how to get to it. Let's see what we've got to work with here. Now, I haven't seen any particular kinds of collectibles yet, um, just besides health pickups. Um, maybe they'll introduce those later on, or maybe this is just all about the story and the adventure and there are no secret pickups. Oh, close. I didn't realize there was two fireballs jumping up there. Alright. Now, they're saying that the longer you hold X, the further you jump. I'm not particularly noticing that. And maybe I jump a little bit further, but it's not a whole lot. Alright, so it looks like we got some kind of Prince of Persia style puzzle to deal with now. Alright, now that's a chasm. Definitely don't want to jump down there. Uh, <laughs> the only thing that's a little bit off putting about uh, the game's art is the, the textures. Um, seem seem a little bit crazily mismatched. Like you look down there, you see it's it's totally pixelated. I mean, that looks like a PS1 texture, you know. Um, but then you look at my character model, and it looks great. I mean, with the the upscaling, it it looks like a you know maybe not exactly a modern uh, PS3 model, but uh, you know, definitely very very solid. A lot better than some of the texture quality I've seen elsewhere. Okay, so can we just do things? We sure can. Do I just have to hit all of them? Yeah. Red light, green light. There we go. All right. Now we have an elevator. Oh, oh, that was cool. Did you see the way the uh, sword uh, diminished? One way. But yeah, like look at this this elevator I'm riding right now. Once again, very pixelated textures. Um. I mean, see, this is probably, like, it just would not be as noticeable if we were playing in the natural uh, PS2 resolution, which is one-third the size. So those textures would really fit in a lot more. Um. Ooh, light bridge. All right, let's see if there's anything down this way before we go and progress the story. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, the gameplay so far seems very competent. Um, it, like, uh, it, it's not like just rocking and rolling fun like Ratchet and Clank is, but uh, it's not as much of a chore as Legacy of Cain was. I'm enjoying it so far. Oh no! Look out, buddy! I have Sauron's coming for you! And I'm still grinning for some reason. I just forgot like that grin on my face. Oh! Right in the kisser. Alas, you are trapped here in the portal chamber, and you do not have the correct portal amulet. We should be grateful that you are still alive. Unfortunately, the fences of the castle are simply too strong for us. You failed to collect the amulet that would send you home, but I see you found another mysterious amulet. I have no idea where it will take you, but it seems you have no choice. Step up to the magic circle in front of the portal guard and use the amulet. Thanks, I only hope it takes you to a safe destination. Wow, you're a big help. Let's go ahead and say Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, look at that! It's awesome that that Sphinx just totally like uh lowered his head and growled at me. Yeah, just for whatever reason, even when I'm playing on an emulator, I prefer not to rely only on safe states. I like to, to actually save the game whenever possible as well, too. So let's uh let's see where this takes us. Portal God acknowledges your offering and will provide transport to a mysterious location. So yeah, as I said, very competent gameplay so far, backed up by an excellent art direction. I'm really enjoying uh, this world they've built up, and uh, um, pretty good music as well. 
I'm pretty excited about this game, actually. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Prince, and happy birthday! The entire palace is very busy preparing for your birthday ceremony. Prince, I spoke with Lady Nefertiti earlier. She's requested you meet her in the courtyard this morning. <sighs> hey, baby, where are you going? Come on back. I got some uh, some business for you to attend to. I need you to get my your hands on my family jewels. Wow. Huh. I just went from this totally rad cat guy to this <laughs> incredibly dorky. <laughs> oh man, it's like, what if Michael Sarah were the king of Egypt? <laughs> oh wow, that is uh, that is some unfortunate character design. Look, look at my little uh, mini skirt. <laughs> All right, press X to close the object. Use left arrow stick. Push pull. Got it. Got it. I think I know how to work. A push puzzle, guys. Can I only slide this thing on the, on the rug, I guess? Yeah, it certainly seems that way. Okay. Alright, so... All these mannequins with my dresses. Look at this! I am, uh... I am one very fabulous prince, if that's the way that I dress. Alright. Can this guy double jump or anything? Oh, uh, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but, uh... What happens when we, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, I've got this Ken doll thing going on down there. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, it's really unfortunate that the developer, <laughs> the developers did not uh, give me some whitey tidies or something. <laughs> oh, oh, that wasn't me. I was nowhere near that. I, I didn't break your flower, my lady. I just